Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World. It has been a while. I feel like I say that more, more times than not. But I've been busy with some things, you know, life and all that jazz. Unfortunately, you can't keep playing games all the time. That's not what my childhood would lead you to believe, but apparently you can't when you grow up. <laughs> uh, so, we're in Jurassic World, the game, and there has been new dinosaurs put in. And they keep on putting these new ones in. Now, if you remember in the last video, we were aiming to get, I think it was Rexy unlocked, I think. As well as the big one. However, the things you needed for those uh, unlocks were absolutely crazy. So, unfortunately, I didn't get them. However, there is a new one. The Diplocalus Gen 2. And... I'm fairly close to getting this one. We've got it in its, uh, oh, I don't, <laughs> no, no, no. Trust me, I don't need to do that. I don't need to go through all that jazz. But uh, we've been making great headway on Stegosaur Gen 2. And I think now going forward, I shouldn't have any of the dinosaurs not unlocked because I, I mean, Ludia's or Jam City, God knows, whatever they want to go by now, have been giving me access to the uh, Season Pass or the Grand Pass, whatever they call it. So that gives you seven. Yeah, seven. Seven of the new creatures. And you need eight to make a level 40. And the way you get the eighth one is in here. So as long as I, you know, do the missions and then I do a new Challenger event, then I should be able to get a level 40 of the Stegosaur or the new Dinosaur. And... As far as it goes with uh, creatures and all that malarkey, um, I shouldn't need them technically unlocked because they'll probably only have one hybrid and you'll need a level 40 to make the hybrid. And then after that, you just need DNA because then it'll, the hybrid itself will be unlocked. So I'm hoping. So at the moment, we are one, oh sorry, 13,500 away. We just need another, is it 1,500 points? And then we've got the last two out of the seven Unlocked. So we've got five at the moment. So I kind of just want to throw them in because they're instantly unlocked anyway. We'll grab the next one as well. Because this will help us with the event. Because I think you need at least one level level 10 of the Stegosaur Gen 2 to participate in it. So here it is. Why do we have Stegosaur Gen 2? I don't know. Really don't know. <laughs> but here it is. Stegosaur's fossils have, have, have been. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Stegosaurus fossils have been found throughout the US, Europe, and in Asia. Who's in charge? Who's in charge of these? Like, if it's the same person that's done them forever, fire them because they got the Jim Kirkland thing with the Utah Raptor wrong. They, they called it uh, Robert. Uh, I can't remember who it was. And named by paleontologist Robert Backer, the Utah Raptor is the main character. <laughs> Of his adventure novel, Raptor Red. Raptor Red. Yeah, Raptor oh. Red. So oh, is, is that Bob, true? Is that? No, it isn't. <laughs> they named the wrong paleontologist for discovering Utah Raptor. <laughs> I had to travel all the way to Utah, interview Jim Kirkland, the man who actually did it, and get him to be like, no, I did it. For Ludia to go, oh, oops. <laughs> and now you put Ben? Who's Ben? What, Camp Cretaceous Ben? Did he find Stegosaur fossils? You know what, it's it's because they're based in Quebec, and Quebec's basically, if you've ever been to Quebec, French is the, the main language. They put French over English all the time, and like, if you work in Quebec, it's almost like you have to learn French. Like, so, I could imagine this being like a translation e error or something like that. So, I don't know. But it, it would explain a lot of the spelling mistakes that have been prevalent in this game since its launch <laughs> for how many years too many too many years that's how many years anyway what are the other ones stegosaurus's spinal plates could serve for defense display or heat regulation as stegosaur gen 2 evolves its hide with no apostrophe apostrophe on the it's there even though we had it with the stegosauruses uh hide hide takes a takes on a rich Coppery color. Okay, that's just my, my dyslexia. Never mind. Uh, when the first Stegosaurus fossils were discovered, some paleontologists believed it's, again, no apostrophe on the it's, plates lay flat on its back. So uh, sometimes you put Stegosauruses and then other times it's, it just doesn't have a comma in. And Ben, Ben, I'm, come on, guys. You're not adding that many new dinosaurs. It takes two seconds to just... Uh. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So what I want to do is get this guy to level 10, at least three of them to level 10. 
because not only will that help with my missions. Oh, wait, no, my missions have... I don't have any missions. Don't be ridiculous. Apart from weekly ones, which is just like complete battles. And I suppose two, four, six, eight, ten, that's one thousand, two, four, six. So yeah, if I complete all of these, then I've done it. I've got the final two Stegosauruses, but we still got 12 days. We've got these ones to get. And all I need to do is open 25 car packs, Fuse 25, uh, sorry, 25 car packs, and then maybe one or two other missions, and I've done it that way. So we'll see what the code 19 is. It's not very good. We'll send Owen. So, there is this, what, what's it called? Edaphosaurus, that's the one. This new guy. I say new, it's been in for a while, and I'm not going to bother with it, because I've already unlocked it. Uh, and I don't have time. I mean, the rewards are good. The guarantee is 500 and 2,500 DNA, but I think I'm all right so far. I do, however, want to check the other trade hub. We've also got this. Oh, yeah, look at its head. Look at that bow. That looks so cool. I love the bow. Pretty bow. Yeah, also, I realized I, I've been struggling to record like gameplay footage um, from this. And I was, I realized why. I was recording like 100 megabits. Oh, a me well, bit rate, whatever you want to call it, which is super high quality, more than this could actually capture. So that's why my footage was starting to go like jumpy. I don't know. Look at this. I went to Universal in Japan not too long ago. What does it say on the, on the box? Universal Studios Japan. I don't know if you can barely see it there. There were some other cool ones, but I was like, you know what? It's hot. As you can see, I've got my now warm ice neck cooler thing. But these, if you, if you ever want to have a cold drink for a long time, get a metal tumbler, like a thermos, basically, and just put ice cubes in. Hours. Hours. And it works for tea as well. If you're very English, you want to keep your tea nice and hot for a long time. Normally, you go off and do something and forget, oh, my tea, and it's, it's lukewarm, and it's horrible. Tea cold's nice. Tea hot's nice. Lukewarm is terrible. One of these. It'll, you'll, you'll come back to it and be like, oh, it's still hot. Oh, life hack with the gaming beaver. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I digress. So we have this guy at level 20. Uh, we'll do the instant fuse because level 30 is probably going to be a lot of shots and a lot of DNA and books if I wanted to speed it up. So there we go. We'll get this guy to level 30. Boom! And that is probably the most amount to, like, you need to unlock the Diplocalus Gen 2. Technically, I suppose, I don't really need to unlock it, but it'll just help. I mean, who knows if it's going to be in this thing? I mean, this is just... Diplocalycepsis. I think it's Diplocalycepsis uh, Gen 2, I think I need. It's saying it wants me to claim stuff. Oh, <laughs> 350 bucks, I'll take it. Oh, of course, why not? Um, right, let's go back over to this. This is what I want. A mammotherium for 8 million food. <laughs> Other way around? Yes, that way around? No. I, I will just get rid of some of the buildings in the trades, because at least that means they'll stop coming up for other ones. Uh, yes, that's a very good trade. I'll take that one. I think there was this one. Another good trade. So it's about 300 bucks we've just gathered there, which is great. We'll do a 50 refresh. Anything else I can get rid of? It's always important to keep an eye out if there's anything good. Oh, 33 million coin for 5,000 DNA. Heck yeah, I'll take that. And, and oh, they always give you this. They always have a trade for DNA for bucks. I've noticed that. It's very common. But before we continue... I will just up up my coin. So, if you know, it's given the Trade Harbor a chance to generate another really good, like, 50 million coin for thousands of DNA. I love those ones. And because I don't have the fidelity or whatever it is, the, the bonus that you have to pay for, I can't trade a Patasaur statue's four bucks, which would be really good. I'd, I'd probably do that more. But the DNA, that's where it's at. For me, anyway. Unless I were to pay more money. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, again, VIP points or DNA, you're usually fine for books. And I always always tend to do that one. As well as the 52. Oh! Oh, that's brilliant! Yes! That's actually really good! Because... Oh, that's not so good. That is terrible. Because normally, in order to get any more Apatosaur, you know, things, uh, statues, I have to place all the ones down, and then buy more. This way, that way, I just got some more. That's brilliant. Uh, whoa, that's one mi two million coin for like 200 bucks? That was a steal, that one. Uh, like one right eh, sure, three DNA, and it's gonna help me out much, but I'll take it. And there you go, That I think that was successful trades were handled there. And let's collect some more food. Do we have anything over here to collect? Yes, we do. All of the jazzies, yes. Now, if we go into the big trade harbor, there, we've got level 30 Diplo Callus or whatever it is, the, the hybrid level 30 of its 
Oh, it's Diplocalus, not Sarepsis or whatever it is. Okay, so now I just need four, level 40 Postasuchus and a level 40 Caprasuchus. Now, I have been slowly getting these guys. However, I don't know. Postasuchus I definitely have. Yeah, level 30, but we need level 40. So I think I have just enough. And it'd be really cool to unlock this today. And I think I might do that, because the chances of anything coming out that I really want, that I could use the fuses for, is very low. I don't, I don't think I'll need it. What I shouldn't do, however, is that. I should just activate and speed up for 30 bucks. Save it. Save it always for the level 30, the, on the level 40, or whatever fuses. I don't think I need it for the level 10s to 20s. That one's relatively cheap. And if I've got spare, uh, you know, I could use it for this. Yeah, we'll use it just to 140. Save on the bucks. We're not doing too bad. I feel like if a really good hybrid comes out, um, I might, I think I've got enough bucks to buy. Maybe not to level 40, but at least to level 30, which is always the best one. And then I think I've got enough to, or enough bucks to, oh, look at that. I don't think I'd collected any of the evolution bonuses on this. So we're going to get free bucks for it as well. Look at it, poster Sukas. Looking lovely. It's a cool design. I like the yellow and the purple. And let me just collect all of this. So that's like 166 bucks I just got there. Uh, 275? Ah. Go on then, go on. Good, good, but I'll do it. You've twisted me arm. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Baby, it's first dinosaur. I was trying to think of a rhyme there and... Well, I'm not much of a rhymer, as I've just found out. Or a songwriter, maybe, except for the dolphin one in Path of Titans. She wanted to play a dolphin. That was fun. I like that one. It was a good song. I was thinking that was one of the first kind of things I remember you guys latching on to. I don't know if you're still here, because it was a long time ago. But it was when I used to play Primal Carnage, and I made that... Wasn't I and I did see it was the other one. It was the first one when I was a T Oh damn. When I was a T-Rex. I can't remember what it was called now. But I put my little head like jumping at the bottom and then I think years later I, I was still playing, or like a year later, I was still playing Primal College and I was still officer. I thought I'll do the end of the sea. And it, it's improv songs. There's only so much I can do with that, but uh, the the dolphin song was far beyond my capabilities, but it was lovely. Great fun. Right, so we, we, we've got Postasuchus now. The last one we need to get Diplocalus Gen 2 is a level 40 of you. So I will just activate, act, act, activate, and spend some bucks. You know, we, we got like 300 or so bucks on the trade harbor. I don't mind just to have it unlocked because Lord knows, before you know it, we'll have a uh, another one. We'll have another, like, Super Gen 2 to unlock, or the big one, or Rexy or something. And hopefully it's the same things, because if it is the same things required to unlock it, that would be really good. Oh, we need two more. We need two more of you. Now, we could instant hatch it. Seems like a bit of a waste. Or I could just spend a hundred. Yeah, go on, sure. At this point, the stakes are very low, so I don't, I don't mind... Wait, do I need that? Level 20, level 20, level 20. Yes, I need one more. Okay. Yeah, I'm not spending 50 bucks. The 50 bucks would be better. But at the same time, there's no point. I would, like, I could have an instant hatch on something that I actually need. And, ooh, I haven't even collected the uh, the four evolutions of this. So we're guaranteed another 166 bucks coming back at you. So let's feed Capra Sutures again. When this guy came out, it was... The first bunch of new dinosaurs, or prehistoric creatures, <laughs> we can flame in the comments, stop it you, stop typing. Um, what was it? It was, uh, it was Caprasuchus, the Ophicodon, I think, and there was a bunch of other, you know, variety of different dinosaurs, prehistoric creatures, came to the game. And it was great. It wasn't just, you know, next bad super hybrid, next bad super hybrid. It was fleshing out the roster and it felt like, oh, okay, this is great. Yes, they were a little bit harder to get and they cost a little bit more and they were the better of the super res or res or whatever. But I, I didn't mind that. 47. Ooh, probably should have used instant for this one. I'll do it for the next two. I'll do it for the next two. We've spent a lot of books on things that really, we, there's no rush. But you know, we do it for videos. That's what we do. So there's the level 30. Oh, look at the coloring. 
We'll do an instant fuse because we've got four of these. And by the time we've got a level 40, we have two left. There's another level 30 instant fuse. Boom. 160. And another level 40. Look. Capra Suture. And let's get you to level 40. Boom. There you go. Level 40 post Postosuchus. Level 40 Capra Sutures all in one video. I love the... I think it's like a bit... It's a bit of an explorer color scheme on it. I like it. Yes. And before we go... Yeah, boom, boom, boom. 164 bucks. I'll take that. We have a little bit of that to claim. We have a 15... Owen, oh, man! Don't pester me. You could take care of that. And now, if we go into the trade harbor, it is ready as well as, if I wanted to, a para. But I think, if I'm honest, I could sell level 20 Majung and all of those for more DNA than a para is going to get me. So I, I think I'm all right. So we're going to get that. Oh, I do have a level 40 of this. Ah, that would make that disappear. Now, at the same time, I could... What was it? How much DNA would I spend and get a free Diplo Sutures? Or I could spend half that amount. And yeah, no, it, it, it's better that I use... Oh, God. oh my god. Oh, and if it's... Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. I thought it was going to pester me with another 15 with pennies. I don't care about pennies. I want big money. But no. No, that's fine. I don't mind this. Another couple of hundred. <laughs> oh, I'm curious. What's the most amount of DNA that you guys have gotten on a... Like a perfect, obviously. Code red. Or code 19 it is. Why did I call it Code Red? They should have called code, code, uh, code Red. That would have been good. Rather than Code 19. Because then they... Uh, it's a bit like, ooh, COVID-19. Oh, no. <laughs> they predicted it. They knew. <laughs> they, were, they were putting numbers behind everything. It was like Omega 09. Valkyrie 66. Right. Okay. I think the most I've ever gotten is 500 nod. I feel. Or maybe even 700. But 500, I, I, I feel like I've definitely gotten that before. Okay, so I can go back to the bloody trade harbor now. Please don't interrupt me, Owen. Yes. No, this one. There we go. Yeah, I will lose the level 40, but I'm okay. But we've unlocked Diplocalus Gen 2. And then we could just, you know, do that instantly. Oh, he's got a square head. Let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at you. Oh, Diplocalus Gen 2. Diplocalus means double call or double cowl. Oh, referring to the membranes on each side of its head. It's like a nun or something. What does it look like a level 40, though? Wait, did they... Oh, they just... They didn't, they didn't give it any spikes or anything? Oh, they gave it more of a ridge on its back, I see. They didn't really do much to it. That's boring. You give me a new dinosaur and you don't do anything. You're running out of ideas at this point. All right, so, I mean, I don't really need Australotitan. I think that is a tournament dinosaur. I don't need Archelon, but... Let's get into the battles because we need to win it. We've also got this. I don't think that guarantees one. Uh, it's just some of the ingredients. It's all the ingredients for it. So if you're missing one, hey, pretty, pretty decent. However, the battle is super, super hard. And you only need... It's like, oh, by the way, these are all good against you, but you can use mods. Great. Right. Now, this one is different. It has five million. You need level 10 Stegosaurus Gen 2. So, of course, we're going to put that in first, wherever it be. Stegosaur Gen 2. There we go. Boom. Now we'll go to... It's a tricky one. This is really bad. Because of the combo. In this game, you only need two types. Herbivores and amphibians. Or carnivores and flyers. And they cover each other in the yin and yang sort of like what beats what. And this, unfortunately, is completely a good team. Because, I mean, I could put Stegosaur Gen 2. This is the way it's going to go. Stegosaur Gen 2 is going to get killed in one hit or two hits because it's a PC and it'll always go for it. At that point, I need... It doesn't really have to be a good carnivore. It just has to be a carnivore that can kill Stegosaur in one hit. So I need... Like 3,000 attack. So, I mean, we're looking at Serizinosaurus. So I'll go for one hit, two reserves. I could even go for two blocks just to make sure I survive. And then, and then, I think all I really need is Zalmonodon, really Metrophodon. And I've done it! 
I made a top 10. Freaking they get after six years. I made a top 10. You guys, you, you happy with that? I've been calling for three years. So, was I right? Look how tiny Stegosaur is. Okay, so we'll go for reserve. It'll definitely go and kill me in one hit. Better not switch. Ah, I love how predictable this game is. I like how Stegosaur Gen 2 is more chunky on the head. I like it. Okay, so one hit. And if I wanted to, you know what? One block and one reserve. Because he can't kill me in two. Oh, yeah, he couldn't. I could have went for two reserves, actually. Although it would have been very close. Oh, we. Whoa, wowie wooey. Okay. We're going for four reserves here. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Watch Lamp four time the other day. Such a good movie. Such a good movie. Although the second one does have the song. It has the song. <laughs> Number four. Number four. Okay, so he's got nothing. I could go for loads of attack here, but it's technically... But look, 7,883. So I kill it in two hits, and then I can just go for four reserves. And it doesn't matter what it does. If it goes for an all-out attack to kill me, that's fine, because then I've got enough reserves that Cerezinosaurus can easily kill them too. Boom! It goes for one. Not even enough, man. Not even enough. Not even close. How much damage can level 40 Metrophodon do? And with the buff, 157,000. Oh, it did block. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I just rolled in it. Died. Oh, no. Too powerful. Sweet. That is one out of the five battles done. Now. Hmm. Okay. I mean... I don't think this is too hard either. Scroll until we find the stack. So there it is. Great, great, great. And let's see. So a, a good carnival would be amazing. Because then Metrophodon could get killed in one hit as long as it's got more than... Like Interrupted Gen... Or, sorry, Interrupted Level 40 would be great. Kills Metrophodon in one hit. Armor Matter comes in. Then Armor Matter is going to switch out to Orthrepsis, which may go for one hit. It might even just go for a block or a reserve. And then I need I need another flyer. I think. I think. We put Zalmonodon in. It's not guaranteed. The last battle I felt like it was guaranteed. This one, it depends what they do. If they go for reserves instead of blocks, that's gonna screw me. But there's only one way to find out. Uh, my only guarantee is that I know of is Stegosaur Gen 2 is gonna die right here by two points. Massively. 300 attack, though, for a level 10. Pretty good. Pretty good. Does have the 50% bonus. Okay, here we go. Interruptor comes in. Now, I don't think I have to worry at all here. I'm not even going to go for one block. I'm going to go for one hit and two reserves. I need those. I really need those. So, our man is going to come in. Have two. It's going to swap to the Therapsis. Little fishy mouth. I didn't even go for anything. Okay. Okay. You know what? Three reserves, two block. Probably needed that. I think we've survived two hits if it does go for a full and four, which it does. Have we survived? Yes, we have. And that is a guaranteed victory now. As long as I don't do something stupid. It's got nothing. I kill it in three hits, I think. Yep. Go for three reserves and that's it. Done. Done and done. I'm just a pro <laughs> I scoops. It's so hot. Like, you step outside, it's like a, a dog's breathing in your face. It's that humid as well over here in Japan right now. It's absolutely horrid. All right. And then I kill it in two hits. But seven. How much damage? Oh, that's, that's less than Metrophodon could achieve. Jesus. That's how powerful it is. All right. Boom. Is it the most attack of any dinosaur in the game, Metrophodon? If it is, how have I not noticed that? I bet you it is as well. Right, so here we go. Let's do it again. We go for herbivores. Best herbivores. Scroll down. There it is. Boom. Jurassic. And finally, how will this one go? Finally, I need a amphibian, but I don't really have any great amphibians. Is that my best amphibian? And it's got only 2,500 attack. That is pitiful. You've even got herbivores and... Why do we not have a really good amphibian? 
Or is there? And I just don't have it. I don't think there is, though. It can't be. That's like the best one. And it's... It's... Attack is terrible. Even Chromos Spino's got more health... More attack. And close to the same health. And that's level 32. A level 40. Oh my god. Look at the difference. It's got more... Almost more health. It's very close. But way more attack. They did him dirty. Did off the sepsis really dirty. But anyway. Another tricky one. Because I don't have a good amphibian. And that's what I would like to go for here. However. I could go for a good carnivore. And kill it in two hits. As long as that carnivore can survive. Seven or eight thousand damage. But I don't have a carnivore that can do that. Oh, da, 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 da. What I'll do, we'll do an instant speed. Rather than spending a thousand bucks, we'll do this again. We'll kill the Chloroma Spino. Then we're safe. And then we need a good flyer. But I, I think I've used my best flyers now. Second under Ganathus might be pretty decent. I think it's got a beaten overall stats. Like with health especially. 2,100... It's a little bit on the weak side. It's less than the attack on Indoraptor. But it does half Orthorepsis' attack. Hmm. Is, it, this is... Ooh, this is not so good. This is not so good, this one. It's guaranteed the two, first two rounds are going to go to my plan. Stegosaur Gen 2 dies. Indoraptor comes in. Kills Chromospina with two hits. Goes for one reserve. Then Orthorepsis can... I can pretty much survive whatever this thing is going to do. And then I need the next turn, the one after this. Interrupter needs to survive. It needs to survive. So I need to go for two... Three block here. I need to. Yeah, I need to do that. I know I can survive two hits. I can't survive three hits though. Okay, okay. It's not the best. Um, second under Ganathis. Four attack. Three, six, nine, one, two, three. Oh, does kill it. Okay, okay, okay. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. It's very close. It's very tricky. Go oh, no. We have a two. It's got two block. Ah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And it would have had two block. Doesn't matter. I kill it in two hits. And I've got three going through anyway. Oh. Okay. Three. Out of the fire. Done. Maybe this will be this video. Just showing you how to do it. If, you, if, you, if you're struggling. Alright. So. We've got two more battles. Is it still level 10? Still level 10. Not so bad. Really good. All carnivores. I can just put in like. Yeah. This is a good one. I think it may be similar to what you guys face. Depends what your dinosaurs are, because I think it just, like, averages to your roster. So I will spend 40 bucks. Oh, I spent 41 bucks. Oh, no. And then carnivores. Apache Galasaur can kill Segod... Segod... Segonosuchus, whoever it's called. Segonosuchus. Why did I struggle that so long? And you done. We good, man. We good. This is easy. This is easy. Easy. I've got so many carnivals. Not a problem. Yep, go for the two to kill it. It all comes down to whatever the last battle is. I've got some speed ups. So I could get interrupted back again. And maybe something else, Metrophodon, if it's really bad. But look at the health on Pachygalosaurus. 18,000 health. Nothing. Nothing in the game can kill it in two hits. Nothing. I still don't think it deserves to be in my top 10, however. But it just proves how good this thing is. Because there's other carnivals that are better. And there's, uh, generally, there's other dinosaurs that are better. But... Pachygalosaurus, man. So good. I'll factor in two here, because I'm not too worried. I wasn't paying too much attention, because I know this is, this is over. 4,000. That's good, though. Can kill me in three. Can do it. Can go for a four and six. I think it will. And they have it. Instant win. Beautiful. Beautiful. It would be great if, like, a dinosaur that didn't take any damage was usable again. But at the same time, I don't think they have the code in the game to do that. Like, they don't have it set up to do that at all. 
It's like, if you use it, then it's it has to be refreshed after that point. Oh, it's code 19. What's it going to be? It's terrible. Oh, no, my God. Wasting my time. Well, not really, because I'm paying attention. And finally, another really difficult one, but... Oh, Stegosaur Gen 2 there at level 100 and odd. Yeah. Oh, wrong way. It's a... Oh, 42 bucks. Ha <laughs> ha, 39 more like. <laughs> And for this, it's got to be something like Indoraptor. It could even be Scorpius. Yeah, actually, there's, there's no point. Scorpius is good enough. Because it kills it in Segnosuchus in one hit. And then I've got... Oh, it's only got 5,000 health, the, the Bagiosaurus? <laughs> oh, oh, brilliant. Then I could use something like Tapajalus for... for, for, for. Actually, not even that. Let's use that guy. He's got, he can kill it in two hits. The other guy can't. I don't think Tappy Jallo can. Oh, can it? Plus 2,000. 2,400, 4,800. Oh, it might just... It might be on the cusp, but I'm not going to risk it. We're putting that. I think if... I, I, it's either going to go very well, so smoothly, that I shouldn't have even overthought it, or it's going to bite me in the bum. We'll see. Scorpius Rex, you need to kill it, yeah. No! I'm for Capricorn Tertius. Yes, the only good thing to come out of that movie, huh? A series? No, yes. Kill. Yes. Oh, there it is. Take a soldier too, with all its spikes down its side. Looking a little bit different to Stegos. Uh, okay, here we go. Right. I kill it and yeah, I definitely kill this guy in two hits. So I'm just going to go full out because I just want this thing dead. So I don't care if Stegosaur Gen 2 goes for like two and kills me. Goes for one even. Okay, so he's got what He's got... Mm, I'm going to have to go for a safe play for Scorpius because I can't kill it in one hit. Though it's very close. But if he has a lot, I'm going to go safe play. Two block, two reserve. And then like three, three. Nothing to worry about. But it did mean that if I went for a full on attack... I might be in a bit of a sticky situation if I had went all out. And there you have it. Stegosaur Gen 2, technically unlocked, but not really, but a level 40, ready to go. And there it is, Stegosaur Gen 2 pack. What we get? Hopefully the VIP points are better. 48,000 coins, not even good coin. You okay, right? Uh-huh. And there we go. 2,600, yes. That's what I was looking forward to. Yes. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, you can unlock it. Oh. Oh, it's so good. But the, the requirements to actually get in the Clash of Titans and also... Yeah, it's not really worth it. We do have a Battle Stage Infinite. Uh... What's my amphibian roster looking like? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm, I'm keeping the... Bagiosaurus here. I feed it once and that's one of my daily missions done. So I've, I've just been slowly leveling that guy up. Uh, but look at that. Why are none of my amphibians very good? Maybe Bagiosaurus. That's probably the one that's very good actually at level... Because it's already got more attack. But it's 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 health's pretty terrible. It's a, maybe it's a bit like Ophicodon. Hold on, hold on. I want to have a check at that. Let's have a look. Market. Amphibians. So it's 82,000. For 4,300. Good. Very good. But again, 82,000. And it's kind of on par with Metrophodon, right? 82,000. Remember that? 82,000. 62,000 Metrophodon. In, it's better. It's got like more health and I think more attack. And it's 20,000 cheaper. Like they just, they didn't think it through when they were putting that in the game. That's why Metrophodon's up there and that thing isn't. Don't know all of the calculation. Okay, so, I mean, we, we could do that, but I think... Let's have a look. We've got a free one here. I'll just shove something in there that we don't really need at the moment. It's just something... I always put... I've got so many of these. So many super rares, legendaries. Are they, yeah, they are legendaries. Like, what's my most? What, what's the most legendary I have? The most amount. I've got seven of the Hothriosaurus. And I, I swear I've got more. Five Pteranodons. But I know I have 16 Posterzookas, man. <laughs> so many. 
Okay, but I will spend 10 bucks on putting in something that is going to take a long time. So let's look at Jurassic. Let's see if we've got any good hybrids. We could speed up. Actually, we'll speed up the Stegosaur. Because you never know. We've got Bumby to put in, but we don't really need to worry about that. Rodrigo Solitaire. I don't think I'd have a level, I have a level 40 of that. But I swear, if they put in a new hybrid, what's going to happen? Oh, why is Stegosaurus doing a little glowy glowy? Is that because it's an event right now? Ooh, very cool. I think when they put in a new hybrid that maybe requires one of the, the dinosaurs that you haven't got unlocked, like Stegosaur Gen 2 or Bumpy or something like that, then I think they'll probably give you like one Bumpy for like 5,000 bucks. It'll be a ripoff, but you, if you're missing one, it's all right. So Stegosaur Gen 2, instant get that for 250 bucks. So now we could have a level 30. So we need four more, four more of these guys. If we go into, ah, sweet, win a battle with one. Brilliant. I'm a thousand off now. So we need three more. So one, two. And I, I've got another one there. So that's three. There should be one more. There should be one more. There it is at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's it. Stegosaur Gen 2 is basically completed. <gasps> should we get level 40? Oh, come on then. We're getting level 40. I'll spend thousands of bucks just to do it. Uh, no, I don't need that. I need to go into here. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Because I don't have the, uh, I don't have the thingy. I don't have all these missions. Yeah. Ah, that's a bugger. Okay, well, anyway. Next time, when we do a video, maybe. It depends if it's really quick. Like, if they put something out in the next few days, and we won't have a level 40. But next time, I'm sure we've got that guaranteed. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.